Next week, millions of Americans will be making their way to the polls to cast their vote on Election Day. However, the early voting period just ended and many states are seeing higher numbers than the 2020 election. News 10's Zhang Hogue took a look at the early voting turnout here in Acadiana. We're now just days away from an election that many are considering to be one of the most important in our nation's history. And with the historic election has also come a huge push to get out and cast your votes early. And that's exactly what many people across the country and especially here in Acadiana have done. But don't just take my word for it. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. News 10 had the chance to speak to the Registrar of Voters in Acadiana to really break down the early votes cast in 2024 and even compared that to the last presidential election in 2020. The parish that seemed to have a decrease in the numbers was actually Iberia Parish, which saw 14,687 votes in 2020 and only 13,814 in 2024. St. Martin Parish also saw a decrease in voters this year. And the only one that stayed the same was Jeff Davis Parish, who had 6,223 votes exactly in both 2020 and 2024. And that's honestly pretty impressive. This year's election is also making an impact on the people over in St. Landry Parish. News 10 was out here in 2022 whenever Opelousas officials were running for office and saw a really low turnout of voters for that election. This year, things are quite different as over 12,000 people have already come out to cast their votes early. And although early voting may be over, there are still a lot more votes to count whenever people head out to the polls on November 5th. Zane Ho, KLFY News 10.